Okay, Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning again. So, we continue on with the next topic. Circuit breaker trip coil. Lah. So, this is topic number 10 out of total of 17 lah. topics. Lah. So, we are more than halfway already. Uh, after this, uh, the topics will be a little bit uh, lighter and easier lah, as compared to topic number 9. Lah. Number 9. Lah. Okay. CB trip coil. So how can we check the condition of the CB trip coil? So how do we check if the CB trip coil is okay or not? So CB trip coil, trip coil is a very important part of the circuit breaker. If it fails, the circuit breaker will not operate when the protection relay sends a trip signal. So this is the worst thing or the last thing that we want to happen. Huh? We don't want this to happen. Huh? Uh, you might have done a very good relay calibration, but you did not really check the condition of the or the integrity of the trip coil. Uh, kalau ni tak ada, protection hebat mana pun, tapi uh, signal tak boleh sampai because your trip coil dah rosak. So how do we check trip coil? Number one is we have the healthy trip lamp. This is the old type. Uh, old type or the old uh, uh, old version of the trip circuit supervision lah. uh, the second modern type is the trip circuit supervision so most of the protection relay uh, has been the circuit has been designed to include the trip circuit supervision monitoring uh, so you under any condition your trip circuit supervision must be healthy especially in the uh, in the close condition and also uh, the ni lah, uh, the trip Trip call is ready lah to, uh, to, to trip. Eh? So this trip call supervision is to monitor the condition of the trip call. Eh? So the trip call can be checked either during the closed position or during the open and closed position. Eh? So most of this uh, low voltage and up to a certain medium voltage, it is only being monitored under the closed position. Eh? But when it goes, when you go to higher voltage, when it's more critical 33 or 132 kV and above, it will monitor the trip coil in both open and closed position. Eh? Uh, so when I, uh, what I'm referring here to close and open closed condition is basically the condition of your circuit breaker. Lah. So let me add, add that. Uh, circuit breaker, closed condition. Circuit breaker, open and closed position. Eh? Okay, so this is to be, uh, to give more clarity. Eh? Okay, alright, so what does the trip circuit supervision actually do? Eh? So both methods, the healthy lamp, the trip circuit healthy lamp check or the trip circuit supervision actually monitors for whether the DC supply or AC supply is healthy. The trip fuses and links are in service means no, nobody, somebody did not forget, apa? Did not, uh, did not put the fuse in open condition after relay calibration. So maybe they forgot to put the fuse back in service. Uh, the trip wiring is complete. All the wiring from the source, 110 DC, going through the, going through the protection relay and finally going to the trip coil is intact and connected on the both positive and negative side or both life and neutral side. And the trip coil is not open circuited. Huh? Trip coil is not open circuit. Lah. So trip coil is not open circuit means uh, uh, if your trip coil is open circuit, so your your tripping circuit is not true anymore lah. Uh, so it will not trip lah. And also this is a fail safe design lah. If any one of the above is not satisfied, then trip circuit has failed lah. So any one of these fails, the trip circuit supervision will will not light up or will de-energize lah. So you know that there is something wrong that you must check in the trip circuit supervision circuit lah. Trip circuit supervision. No. It's a little bit confusing. Eh? So let's see. Eh? Healthy lamp, trip lamp and the trip circuit supervision. Eh? So the healthy trip lamp uses a lamp to indicate if the trip coil is healthy. Current flows through lamp and... Uh, sorry. Current flows through lamp and anti trip circuit. Lamp will light up if the trip circuit is functional. So if you look here. This is the protection relay. This is the breaker status. This is the link, this is the fuse. So under normal condition, protection relay is not triggered. So 
there is a small current flowing through here when the breaker is closed so like this circuit is monitoring in the closed position eh? so 52A is the normally open condition of the breaker so 52B is the normally op uh, closed position of the breaker lah. so when the breaker is closed 52A will become true this contact closes so the car this protection relay is only waiting for the protection to be triggered so the current will flow through this lamp if you can see here this is actually a small resistor lah. so this current limiting resistor is to limit the current just enough to light up the lamp but uh, not enough for it to energize the coil of the trip coil uh, okay all right so under normal condition there's a small current flowing through here through the this contact to a to the trip coil lah. so if the circuit is true means there's no disconnection there's no tak ada wire putus ke apa ke this lamp will light up so indicating that your strip circuit is healthy uh, so it includes a series resistor lah in case lamp is shorted eh? uh, okay so one is to protect from mild nuisance if this lamp is shorted another is to limit the current lah flowing eh? uh, maybe to light up the lamp you need only 0.01 amp but trip coil 0.1 amp eh? so without this resistor uh, you can trigger this trip coil to to trip lah uh, uh, through this circuit lah okay so resistor memang kena ada lah uh, okay so this is while breaker is closed lah so supervision while circuit breaker is open or closed so this are the condition uh, so we have a lamp going through the uh, going through the circuit breaker this, so when the breaker is closed it will go through flow it will flow through here uh, this contact with 2A will come close when the breaker is in the open position uh, I mean uh, open position it will go through this contact here so there's two resistors eh? so this part B here is monitoring both the circuit trip circuit supervision in open or closed condition uh, so and this is the trip circuit supervision eh? uh, same principle as above so we, there, there is a uh, instead of the lamp, this lamp is all replaced by a trip circuit supervision relay. So, if there's any problem, it will trigger the contact and give an alarm. Lah. So, uh, this alarm, you can go and trigger a buzzer or send to a binary input of your protection relay to indicate or oh, you have a trip circuit supervision issue. Lah. Means your, there's a break in your trip circuit supervision. Okay, uh, this is a sample uh, from uh, ABB drawing which is uh, showing for uh, uh, for a tripping circuit as well as the trip circuit supervision eh? okay so now let's let us assume that the breaker is in the open condition so let's see whether the circuit trip circuit supervision is being is monitoring or not this trip coil lah. so here is our trip coil mo1 so under the uh, breaker open condition so the only way for the supply to be true is through this lah. Uh, but BO02 is normally open uh, so it's not monitoring so this circuit is not monitoring the breaker under uh, when the breaker is in open condition so when the breaker is in the closed condition means the BB2 normally open and BB3 normally open becomes cl op uh, close and BB2 normally close becomes open so after the breaker is closed so the monitoring is being done through this relay yeah. through, through this relay so it's monitoring the RET615 which is a protection relay for transformer so there's a internal resistor and also there's also another internal resistor at this relay ART7 which is a differential relay okay so the monitoring is through this uh, this contact coming here going directly through the coil lah. so this circuit is only monitoring the trip coil under breaker closed condition so when the breaker is in the open condition it's not monitoring at all lah. Uh, but the schematic actually is already ready if it wants 
if it wants to monitor in the break open condition we just have to do some rewiring lah okay rewiring and choosing the right breaker status open or close eh? okay that's on the trip circuit supervision lah so this circuit is showing that the trip circuit supervision is only monitoring the healthiness of the trip circuit when the breaker is in close condition through this our internal plus TCS1 then going directly through the call to the call through BB2 lah normally open eh? but it will be closed lah during the circuit breaker, breaker close condition lah Okay, so you monitor not only the healthiness of this coil, this contacts, this internal resistors, but also the supply, DC 110 or DC uh, and also the negative. Uh, so just to add another note, how do we actually check the condition of the supply? Let's say you want to check whether the coil is okay or not. Eh? So here when we want to check something on the control circuit we always assume that it's alive lah. so never use continuity eh? never use continuity or the ohm meter eh? always use AC or DC voltmeter during troubleshooting eh? unless you confirm that by checking that there's no more AC or DC voltage on the circuit then you can use only then you can use the continuity test eh? or the ohmic test eh? uh, but for me, I always prefer to use AC or DC voltmeter lah. That is the safest lah. Okay, so let's see that. Let's say that we want to check the healthiness of this this coil lah under the uh, breaker open condition. Actually, you can check. Eh? So under the coil, when the breaker is open condition, uh, the tripping coil is connected to the negative. Eh? Then going through a resistor, we are going reverse. Eh? Then going through this, normally close contact. So if you measure from here to the ground, you will actually measure uh, uh, as a reference. Uh, you use ground as a reference uh, and assuming that the DC is a midpoint grounded. Uh, so you will measure if, if it's a positive supply coming, you will measure that it will be plus 55 volts. If it's a negative supply coming in, it will be a measurement of negative 55. So in our case, since the source is coming from the negative side, going through the coil, resistor, BB2, and coming to this point. So you may, you, when you measure at this point at X terminal X21 uh, Z8, so you will you will get the measurement to be negative 55 volt DC. Uh, if you measure uh, at this point X21 Z6, you will measure plus 55 volt DC. Because this contact is still open, so the negative has returned through the coil, through the resistor, up to this point. Uh, while the, the supply is still is waiting at X21. So it's just a matter of waiting for RF542 plus to trip and close this contact. Okay. So that's how you check. So remember, if you want to check any control circuit, you must ensure that you use AC or DC voltmeter first. You can only use continuity test if and only if the control circuit supply is isolated. Eh? Okay. So this is in the case of a uh, mid grounded DC lah. Okay. Uh, so this is a continuity test if you want to do it. So you can check whether the coil is healthy or not. You can measure the resistance of the coil through this contact. Okay. So breaker you rack out. Identify the terminal 31. 41, 42 uh, then you measure the the resistance uh. so the this the result of the coil you can get it from your OEM manufacturer lah. okay so again reminder if you want to do continuity test control circuit supply must be isolated uh, before any DC resistance or continuity is performed uh. so what to check if the circuit breaker does not trip during testing Okay, number one is you can measure that the DC voltage reaches the CB3 coil in terminal or not. So if the, uh, make sure you measure first whether the DC voltage reaches the CB3 coil terminal or not. So if the if the DC circuit is okay, then you check on the coil itself. If the above is true, check the coil lah. The trip coil may be open circuited or it may be shorted. Hmm. So if there's, it is shorted, even though there's high current flowing through it, uh, the coil is not enough to trigger the breaker to open. 
Uh, so you can check also if there is any contact in series with the trip call which is true or closed. Uh, Alright. So these are the troubleshooting. Uh, looks pretty much straightforward. Uh. Uh, checking from the top down, from the bottom up uh, to see where is the circuit breaker, trip coil. And continuity is uh, disconnected. Uh. So if you think this material is good, please share this material to your electrical friends. Uh, and do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Clarkso VE, and then my Facebook page. Please uh, like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Clarkso VE. And if you have any other questions, please throw, uh, throw them in the comments below, or you can email me directly lah at Clarkso at gmail.com. Thank you. Huh?